everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my empty products. These are products that I've used completely and I'm going to be letting you know my thoughts and opinions. Would I buy it again or would I never buy it again? And that's going to be the video. So if you're interested to see basically my trash, please keep watching. Okay, so first up I have my favorite foundation in the whole wide world. This is the Maybelline Matte Poreless. I wear the shade 220 when I have a little bit of a tan going on. I freaking love this foundation. To me, it's better than most high-end foundations. I absolutely love it. So would I purchase it again? Absolutely. If you have combination skin, you will not regret this purchase. It is fantastic. Okay, so next I have an empty Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer. I love this eyeshadow primer. I've been using it for years. I like it for a couple of reasons. I find it's not too light. It's light medium. Um, so for my skin tone, it blends in really nice with the eyelid. It's not too white. I uh, also love the doe foot applicator. And it does keep my shadow on all day long. And it also comes with 10 mil, which is a little bit more more than a regular eyeshadow primer. So would I purchase this again? Absolutely. I need a new one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be picking this up again. Okay, so next I have the La Roche-Posay Pure Vitamin C 10 Serum. I freaking love this stuff. I would purchase it again, absolutely. If you're looking for something that's going to give you some radiance, some brightness, hydration, this is amazing. Great for sensitive skin as well. Also like how it has a slight orange tinge. So I find when you do put it on, um, it does give you almost like, not like a tan, but it gives your skin like a really nice glow. My mom also is obsessed with this, so definitely would repurchase this. Okay, so next I have the Benefit Roller Liner in the shade Brown. Did I love this? I wouldn't say... I, I, it's okay. It's okay. Um, it's not my favorite eyeliner. The applicator, though, itself, the, the tip on it was good. I find it didn't dry out. This is the color here, but I do find it has sort of like a red undertone to it. On my hand, it's looking pretty nice right now, but when you put it on the eye, um, especially when you get down to the kind of the end of what's left in the pen, I find it does come out a little bit more red. I don't know. It's not my favorite. I think it's okay, just not my favorite. So I probably would pass and not purchase this again. Okay, next I have this Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. It was oil free. I did find the shade a little bit too yellow for me in 310 Silk. Um, I used the whole thing. I really loved it. I found it did last all day long on my combination skin. At times it could look a little heavy on my face. I found when I started to get a little bit oily. And is it a self refreshing foundation? Not like for me, no. I don't, I don't really know what that means. It's not like something magical happens on your face where all of a sudden it's just like redoes itself no for me no if that makes any sense I don't even know but would I repurchase this again yes I would I found it was really beautiful on my skin I did like the formula so if you're looking for more of a high-end foundation definitely pick this one up give it a try because it's very 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 good okay so next I have the Maybelline brow extensions I am obsessed with this I have it in my brows today it really just creates a nice full fluffy brow it gives you extensions to the brow easy to use the only downfall with this product I find is that there's not a lot in here you only get 400 milligrams which is 0.014 ounces which is basically nothing and I do find if you're gonna be using this every single day it will run out within the month because mine runs out every month but I do repurchase it every month because it's that good. I also had an empty another Fit Me foundation in the shade 118. 220 is my favorite, but again, again, this foundation is the best. Okay, so next I have this Art Deco Clear Lash and Brow Gel. I actually did like this. It's pretty much empty. Uh, mine's not really clear anymore just because my eyebrow pencil has mixed in with it. It did do a good job holding the brows in place. So if you're looking for kind of a dupe for the Benefit 24-hour one, that's about $30. I do find this is a good dupe. It does hold your brows in place. The applicator is not as great as the Benefit one, but this does the trick. It's not bad. And if you're a person who does not like wearing mascara, there's some people that don't, and they just want a little bit of a clear... Um, kind of gel to hold up the lashes after they curl them. This is also a great option for you if you're looking for a clear uh, lash mascara kind of thing too. So it is pretty good. I do recommend. I also have this Rimmel Brow This Way Clear Brow Gel. I did like this. I pretty much used the whole thing. Did I love it? No. I think the Art Deco one definitely has a better hold to it. Same with the Benefit one. I do like the brush on this though. It was a little bit slimmer and kind of easier to run through the brow. But if I had to choose, I definitely would pick the Benefit or the Art Deco one over this Rimmel one. So I would pass on this. Okay, so next I have the Teology Tea Infused Skincare Energizing Perfecting Black Tea Mask. 
Would I buy this again? No. I actually think I had this in Empty's video prior to this and I said the same thing before and I couldn't remember if I tried it, but when I opened it up the second time and saw it, I said yes, I definitely have tried this before. The mask itself is really nice. Um, it's very large, you know, it fits all over your face and it goes all down the neck, which is great. But the only thing is it doesn't stay. So you have to legit lie there and really press it into the skin because it doesn't adhere. I don't know if it's not wet enough or maybe this is a little bit too thick. I, I just, for me, for the price, I didn't feel like it did a whole lot is what I'm trying to get at. So I definitely I would not repurchase this. I wouldn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Teology. I just wouldn't. I just found it didn't do enough for me. Just Okay, so next I have the Rimmel Just Let It Go Gentle Eye Makeup Remover Oil Free. I did let half of it go down the sink. I was sick of looking at it. I wasn't using it. Does it remove waterproof makeup? Not really. And it does kind of burn your eyes. I just, I just didn't like it. So finally I got rid of it. I just feel like this is not a good eye makeup remover. I think you can find it on sale at the drugstore for like seven or eight dollars, but you can also find really good ones at the drugstore for like nine, 10, 11, 12 dollars that don't burn your eyes and take off everything. So I'm gonna have to pass on this. Yes, that's a big pass. So next I have the Revlon Professional. This is the coconut hair treatment. Um, I really did enjoy this. I used the whole thing. It's supposed to repair your dry damaged hair, give you shine, frizz control, heat protection. It's supposed to give silkiness, um, detangling, long lasting hairstyle, split and prevention, adds body. It kind of does everything all in one and I really do like it. I use the whole thing and I love the smell of it smells like a coconut dream. So if you love coconut and you're really looking for a styling product to do everything all in one and you apply it to wet hair, you will really like this. I thought it was excellent. I also have the red one, but if I had to pick between the two, definitely gonna go with the coconut one. I thought it was pretty damn good. Next I have my favorite dry shampoo. This is the Chlorine Dry Shampoo uh, with oat milk. And this is the gentle formula for brown to dark hair. Absolutely love it. Think it's amazing. If you have dark roots like me, you will love it. It doesn't leave a white overcast and it's just really gentle in the hair and really absorbs and keeps you looking fresh. So yes, definitely will repurchase this time and time again. I have two empty IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I love this stuff. I love the smell of this, number one. Oh, there's a little bit in here. I love the smell. The smell is just like a vacation. If you haven't had a vacation in a while, which nobody really has, just buy this and spray it all in your hair and you will feel like you are on vacation. But in all honesty, when I spray this onto my curled hair, it just gives me the best texture, volume, and just makes me smell really, really, really beautiful. So yes, I would repurchase, very expensive for me. This is like $35, I think, which is kind of ridiculous, but honestly, I have not found a texturizing spray, a cheaper one, that's better yet. So I will repurchase this until I find something better, but good luck because the smell and the way this works, I don't think anything is gonna beat this. Next I have this uh, L'Oreal Professional. This is their resurfacing and illuminating system conditioner for blonde hair. Really love this, love the smell of it. Um, it doesn't have a purple tinge. The shampoo has the purple tinge and the conditioner is just a hydrating kind of normal kind of conditioner. This did a great job at detangling my hair and just really moisturizing my hair and I really like the uh, pump. I like how you can pump it out in the shower, just the little things that kind of, you know, mean a lot. But I definitely would repurchase this. I thought it was great. Okay, I have another one of these guys. This is my fancy part wash. If you're new to my channel, yes, I have a fancy part bit wash, whatever you want to call it, that's not called Vagisil. This is just for babies, infants, adults. It is by the brand Aderma, which is a nice French reliable brand that you can use in your fancy areas and it does not cause irritation because it's soap free and it's also scent free which is great. Also love how it's 500 ml. My husband and I use this in the shower all the time. We love it. I buy this all the time and I will continue to buy this because it just makes you fresh and no infections happen, no bladder infections, no irritation, nothing's happening down there other than freshness, if you know what I mean. Okay, so next I have the Vichy Idelia Peeling Radiance Activating Night Peeling Care. I love this stuff. I would purchase this in a heartbeat. It's a very gentle peel. So if you're somebody with sensitive skin that can't handle the glycolic acids and the salicylic acids and everything else and the retinols, try this out because I found it very gentle, yet it did a great job of kind of resurfacing the skin in a gentle way. Um, so check it out. Highly recommend and I would purchase this in a heartbeat. Love it. 
This I'm throwing out, it's kind of almost empty. It's the Live Clean Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner Spray. I was really loving this, I just stopped using it and it kind of went bad, it smells gross now. But I thought it was a pretty good product for a leave-in conditioner. Um, so if you're looking for something that's more of the natural side, it's 96% plant derivative. It's also phthalate-free and paraben-free. So if you have a child that's kind of just looking, or just yourself, that's looking to detangle the hair with a really nice scent, I do recommend this, I thought it was pretty good. I have an empty photo finish priming water from Smashbox, silicone-free, alcohol free oil free love this setting spray definitely would repurchase it but I've had to choose they do have a coconut one I think they still have that one around I would pick the coconut scent over the original but the original itself though is really excellent it sprays out really evenly on the skin and just makes your powdery face look smooth and fresh it's good. I have an empty Clarins Multi Active Day Cream. I love Clarins Multi Active line. I've been using it for years, day and night. I would recommend this. They do have different uh, formulations for different skin types, so I do pick up the one for normal to combination skin. It's very lightweight on the skin, really hydrates, and it's great for first signs of aging. And it just smells very fresh. Not offensive, very fresh, and I do love it, and I would repurchase it. This is definitely one of my favorite mascaras ever 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 and it's only five dollars it's the essence lash princess waterproof mascara you have to buy the waterproof i love the waterproof it just really holds that curl and my lashes look great all day long and they go very very long and very separated and the curl is held and i just think that this is a fabulous mascara for five dollars at the drugstore you cannot go wrong so next I have this little empty nooks multi-purpose dry oil for face body and hair i really only use this on my body I love the way that this makes my body feel. The scent though, I'm not, I like it, but I don't love it. You know what I mean? I could do without, or just maybe something a little bit different. It's very strong, but it, this, if you're looking for a body oil, really hydrates your body. You can also find it with gold glitter, which would have been probably perfect for, you know, the holiday season, but since we're really not doing anything, you might want to pass on the glitter and go with the original right now. But it definitely is a very hydrating oil, so if you're looking for something that's on the natural side that you can use on your face, body, or hair, hey, try it out. Pick it up. You might like it. I have this little e.l.f. jelly highlighter. Would I buy it again? No, because it dries out and it gets all like strange and weird. And this is like, uh, it's just strange. It feels almost like a Play-Doh. I do think it's a pretty highlighter. I kind of feel bad throwing it out, but to me it just looks gross. And I just feel like it's exciting. It just looks like a science experiment that went wrong. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this one. Um, I think it's fun if you want to kind of experiment with makeup and pay like five, six dollars for a little cute little jelly highlighter. But I wouldn't purchase it again. It's just really not for me. But it is kind of pretty. It's just not my thing, you know. I have a Vichy Empty Face Wipe. I love these face wipes. Highly recommend them. They're very, very thick cloth. I try. Recently though, I've been trying to kind of avoid the face wipe thing. I know they're not great for the environment. So I have been using my cleansing balms rather than a wipe. You can use these all over your eyes. They take off everything. They do not burn and they're very, very moist. I know people hate that word, but it's a good explanation of they're just moist. They are, they're moist and they're great, okay? And they have this little flap that keeps all the moisture inside. Okay, next I have the Clarins SPF 40 Oil-Free Day Screen High Protection Sunscreen for your face. I freaking love this. It does not break me out. It's oil-free. Um, I really feel like you should be wearing SPF all day long, all year round. Doesn't matter if it's snowing out, like right now it is snowing, but you still should have it on, especially if you're going skiing. I don't know, is anyone even doing anything this winter? Probably not. We're all probably just locked inside. But when the time comes that we get to go outside, definitely apply your SPF. And this is a great one to apply to the face. Also comes in different tinted colors. I think three different shades it comes in as well. So if you're not a foundation wearer, but want to add a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a tint to even out your face, you will really love this. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. This is one of the best face sunscreens out there. Another little kind of disappointing little pot thing that I have is the Pure Eye Polish. This is a base and top coat. It's in the color Caviar, but I find this dried out and it's weird. It's just weird. And when you apply this to the eye, rather than looking cool like it looks in the pot, it honestly just looks like you have smudged mascara all over your face and your eye. I don't know, I don't like it. I'm gonna have to pass. Okay, this is the Dr. Robux Ningaloo Firming Serum. Has copper, uh, peptide, hyaluronic acid, and also some Bensky 
flower, Inkskia flower. I have no idea. Okay, I don't know, but it was amazing. Very, very natural. I think there's only like five or six ingredients in here from Australia. This really hydrated my skin, calmed my skin. I was breaking out from mask knee. I swear this tamed the skin. The weird thing about this, it came out like water, which at first I thought that I'm not going to like this. Once you pump it on your hand and then pat it into your face, it's very hydrating and it doesn't just dry down like a water would evaporate. It does leave a nice kind of like hydration to the face. I love this. I thought it was amazing. It is kind of pricey. It's almost a hundred dollars, but I'm telling you try this the copper thing and the hyaluronic acid and The way my skin looked and feel I would definitely buy this 100% again. It was great I also am obsessed with this as well. This is the reversa radiance 4% glycolic vitamin C Cream it helps with dark spots acne spots also helps with brightening the skin has a great uh, SPF in it SPF 30 which I was using all summer long I did not burn gave my skin a nice exfoliation um, Did not break me out which is also really important and it did not have any sort of strange smell to it And it's also made in Canada oil free. It's just so good. It, cut, it just it smells like a sunscreen basically, but it's very hydrating and I think it's a great uh, sunscreen that has skincare benefits built into it. So again, if you're looking for a great SPF, but this one has your moisturizer built in with it, so it's even a better bonus, I would purchase this and I will rebuy this 100% again. It was awesome. This for sure is my favorite eye makeup remover. It is the La Roche-Posay Respectisme. Uh, waterproof eye makeup remover for sensitive eyes. It takes off everything. It does not burn. It's just fabulous It's also made in France and I love it and I have already repurchased a new one It is sitting in my cupboard almost half gone as well. It's so good I think this is my favorite cleansing oil. It's the pie light work rose hip cleansing oil This was kind of like a little trial size when my other cleansing oils run out. I will be buying this it is pricey I think it was $60 for the big one I'm telling you this is all natural and it's also made of 90% organic ingredients So, you know, it's good for your skin and it really works and it takes off all your makeup and it doesn't burn And it's so pleasant and it makes me just feel so great inside. So would I purchase this again Absolutely, and I recommend this to anybody looking for a cleansing oil because this is fabulous. I have an empty uh, mascara from L'Oreal, the Bambi Mascara. I love this. This was waterproof. I really love this formulation. I love the brush. I thought it did a really great job at just lengthening, separating, creating volume, holds the curl, didn't flake. So if you're looking for a great mascara that kind of does everything all in one, I love the waterproof formula. I thought it was fabulous. I also have this, uh, this is the La Roche-Posay Hylou B5 uh, Anti-Wrinkle Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and B5, Vitamin B5. Did I love this? Not really. Did I like it? Obviously, because I finished the whole thing. I thought it was fine. I just, for my skin type, I'm a little bit more on the oilier side. I just didn't love the way it kind of felt on my skin. It kind of had like an ointmenty kind of feel to it. Um, and I did, I find it did anything extremely magnificent to the skin? Not really. So I think that there's better creams that I would purchase. This one was not my favorite, but I do love La Roche-Posay as a brand, but this one is just not my favorite, you know? I have this empty Marc Anthony Strengthening Grow Long Conditioner. Did I think this was good? Yes, I did. It had caffeine and ginseng in it. It's free of sulfates, uh, parabens, and phthalates. It kind of did smell like Play-Doh, though, a little bit. It has, like, a weird kind of smell, but I did like it. I thought it was good. I would repurchase it, and uh, that's all I have to say about it. That's it. Okay, and to end the video, I'll talk about the Clarence Multi Active Eye Cream. I love this eye cream. It's great. It's great for first signs of wrinkles, great for hydration. Also love how it has this like cooling little applicator that you could rub all over your under eye if you have the time. Did I really use this? Some mornings, maybe. If I had a little bit of puffiness, I'd work the cream in circular motions with the little applicator here. But I do think this is a great eye cream. Um, and it's not too overpriced. I think it's in the $40 range, which is not too bad. And I did find it last me quite a long time so I definitely would recommend this highly recommend it because I did love it it's great okay I'm gonna end the video here this is the end of my empties video I really hope you did enjoy it if you did as always please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos and until next time I'll see you guys later thanks for watching bye